been a few weeks since I did my last video, so I thought I'd change things a little bit. Uh, come away from the screen grab of the computer and rather than show you a patch that I've pre-made and some riffs that I've pre-made, just go through kind of one of the ways I use to build a patch from scratch. So here we go. I don't know how well you can see the screen on there, but the only thing I've put in so far is a looper. So a bit of info about what I'm using. I'm using a, an LTD-607B, so a 7-string baritone um, Stefan Carpenter signature. It has 80, uh, two EMG-81s um, and they're modded to 18 volts. I'm running through a pair of uh, passive um, PA monitors and just a stereo power amp running into them. Straight from the Helix, that's kind of the entire signal chain. So I have the looper set up on this pedal here. So activating that brings up our loop control. So I'm just going to record a simple loop and we'll go from there. So we fluffed it at the end there, but it's good enough to what we're going to be using it for. Okay, so we have a loop recorded, and we're going to use that loop as the basis to keep playing whilst we fiddle about with everything else. Now the first thing I'm going to do is add in an IR block. Now one of the ones I prefer, I think most of mine are from 3 Sigma. And it's a uh, Friedman 4 by 12. So, so we've got the IR in place. Let's get an amplifier going. So we're just using the amp head itself, no cab model, because we're using the IRs. And a lot of people kind of questioning on the pages whether IRs are worth it. Seriously, without the IR, I'm really not impressed with the cab sims within it. I know you can tweak them and tweak them and tweak them, but they just sound like night and day compared to a decent IR. So we're going for something a bit... I'm not sure, let's try it. They're kind of cleanish for this part, I think. Cleanish, I say. That's not very clean. to it. Um, it's clean-ish, but it's still got a bit of bite there and it's difficult not to have a bite with the pickups that I'm using because they are um, very hot so you know it can easily overdrive a clean amplifier. So at the moment all we have is the looper in place which we can use to turn the, music, the sound on and off and for it to play with them and we can just fiddle about over top of this. It's purely there for that reason. Once the patch is complete, we can delete that. What we might do with this one is run, is run two separate paths, so we have a clean using the top signal path, then we have a dirty one, so within a preset, because I do like to use the uh, snapshots, should I say, within the snapshot, then we can kind of have a, a true two-channel um, or a two-amp system. It just kind of makes life easier when you're... I tend to make patches for songs as opposed to... Uh, for my songs as opposed to trying to replicate something else. It's just me. You use your Helix for what you like. For me, it's about finding the sounds for the, my songs. So I would, 
on a clean have a compressor so we can play and choose our compressor <laughs> So we have a red squeeze compressor in place. Um, there's just a bit too much boost on it for me in the room to start with. It's quite shrill. Um, so I've just dialed back the level there, as you saw. <laughs> Deluxe comp because I can quite simply. Um, so something else that I like to do is have a reverb just to kind of give that room sound. Nothing too major, um, but nothing so slight that it, it sounds kind of a fake. I'm not a big fan of the tiled kind of room sound. So let's have a go. Um, Go with a hall, see how that sounds. down to 25% um, so it sounds natural it doesn't sound it doesn't sound artificial <laughs> hopefully you can pick that up on the uh, on the camera uh, of the iPad that I'm using to record this so let's have a delay as well because why not it's a clean clean should have delay I think everything should have delay really a bit too much so let's go down to kind of analog levels take it down to a long analog of 300 and see how that sounds okay that's quite nice a bit too, too much of a mix I think so let's take it down to 30 the feedback just to see how we get on. Okay, so now then we've got a pretty standard signal chain in place there. Uh, we've got a looper in the front, then going into compressor, we've got use um, so I'm guessing that's a fender twin on the vibrato channel um, Friedman IR something I normally do with my IRs is what everyone does and kind of brings up the low cuts I kind of don't go as high on the low cuts as some others do um, don't know just personal preference <laughs>
pretty natural, nice and cab-like. Something I do like to do, whether it's going to fit this preset or not, or whether you guys have tried this or not, I don't know, but I would certainly recommend it, is not necessarily sticking to the tried and trusted delay and reverb should go after the amplifier because sometimes it just sounds a bit too clean. Um, so just try moving the delay before the amplifier and give it a play see how it sounds. <laughs> Sounds a bit fuller before the amplifier, which is something I quite like. See, in this case, I actually prefer it the other way, so let's put it over here. Leave it there. There's nothing to stop you trying this either. I also like the reverb before the amp. Maybe because I'm weird, maybe because I don't tend to kind of play traditional stuff. So let's try it. sounds just as nice there's not as much difference with that reverb uh, as there is with moving the delay so either before or after on that I didn't hear a massive amount of difference <laughs> end sparkle intact when you put the reverb after so in this case as we're kind of wanting a nice sparkly amp I'm going to leave that like that so I'm pretty happy with that as a clean if I was going to do anything else maybe I'd just probably just have a bit of a housekeeping and tidy up if I was going to add anything else maybe for use later it would be a modulation and so here you can just when it kind of its peaks and its troughs kind of run through an entire kind of bar of riffs rather than it rising and falling. I prefer a slow to a fast. <laughs> So I'm just going to leave that in there 
It just helps to give uh, it helps to give cling stuff just a bit of extra movement with that sparkle. So I'm pretty happy with that as my clean.